today. This is Teacher Liz from Watcheller School and welcome back to our online class. Today's lesson is about all and every. So when do we use all and when do we use every? Before that, let us first learn what do you mean by all and what do you mean by every? So, all means this one and every means this one. So, as you can see, they mean the same thing. They have the same meaning. All means tang mot and every means tang mot. They have the same meaning. But when do we use all and when do we use every? So when do we use every? We use every with a singular noun. When you say singular, it means only one. And when do we use all? We use all with a plural noun. When you say plural, it means many, many. But before that, let us first review. What do you mean by singular and what do you mean by plural? So let's have a review. Singular, only one. Plural, more than one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. Okay, so for example, a flower. Only, as you can see, there's only one. So we say a flower. This is singular. Next, we have flowers. Flowers. This is plural because how many flowers are there? We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six flowers. So this is plural because there are many, more than one. For plural, we remove the article, article, and we put S. For singular, we put on article and no s again a flower flowers another example okay so what fruit is it a peach so this is singular because it's only one a peach how about this we say peaches, peaches, there are two, so this one is plural, peaches, it's plural because it's more than one, there are two peaches, more than one, singular, plural. Another example, a tree, so this tree, it's only one, that's why it's singular. It's singular, only one. And so there are three trees. We say trees. And this is plural because there are one, two, and three. Remember, okay? Singular means only one. And plural refers to more than one. More than one. Okay, so we have more examples. Singular. Singular is for every. We use every for singular nouns. And we use all for plural nouns. When do we use every for singular nouns? And we use all for plural nouns. For example... You can see one flower, a flower, 
only one. So what are we going to use? Every or all? It's only one, so we use every. Every flower. Again, please. Please repeat after me. Every flower. Next. How about this? So there are more than one flowers. We say flowers. It's plural. Flowers. So we use all. All flowers. Every flower. All flowers. Again, we use every for singular nouns and all for plural nouns. Next, another example. A peach. This is singular. There is only one peach. Every peach. So we use every. Every peach. Next, peaches. This is plural because there are one, two. There are two. And we use all. All peaches. Every peach, all peaches. Let's have another example. A tree. This is singular because there is only one, only one tree. So, we are going to use every, every tree. Next, trees. There are two trees. And this is plural because there's more than one. More than one. So, we are going to use all. All trees. Every tree, all trees. Now, let's practice. All or every. Blank girls. Blank girls. Is it singular all or plural? Girls. Is it singular or plural? So, it's plural because there is an S. What is the answer? All or every? The answer is all. All girls. We use all for plural and girls is plural. So, we use all. Next, houses. Houses. Is it singular or plural? Houses. It's plural. Very good. So, how, how can you say that it's plural? Because it has an S at the end. Houses. If it's only one, no S. House. But if there are many or if it's plural, we put on S. Houses. Houses. So, are we going to use all or every? The answer is all. All houses. We use all for plural nouns. Next, dog. 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 Is this singular or plural? It's singular. Very good. So, as you can see, no S. That's why it's singular. It means it's only one. Only one dog. So, are we going to use all or every? The answer is every. Every dog. Every dog. Very good. That's great. Next, student. Student. No S. Is it singular or plural? It's singular. It's only one. Very good. The answer is, what is the answer? All or every? Every. Great. 
Next, schools. Schools. Singular or plural? It's plural. Very good. So, what is the answer? All or every? The answer is all. All schools. Next, book. Singular or plural? It's singular. Okay, so what are we going to use? All or every? Every. Every book. Very good. Next, we have city. City. Is it singular or plural? It's singular. Only one. Singular. So, are we going to use all or every? The answer is every. Every city. And the last one is students. Students. There's an S. Is it singular or plural? It's plural. So, students is plural. So, are we going to use all or every? The answer is all. All students. It's easy, right? It's easy. Again, we use all for plural nouns. Or if there are many and we use every for singular nouns or if there's only one. Again, everybody let us read. All girls. All houses. Every dog. Every student. All schools. Every book. Every city, all students. Okay, so more practice. All or every. All or every. Everybody let us read the sentence. Not blank girls have long hair. Okay, so what is the noun in this sentence? Girls. Girls. It's plural. Girls. So are we going to use all or every? The answer is all. Not all girls have long hair. We use all because girls, it's plural. Next, all or every, everybody let us read. Blank house in that village looks the same. Okay, so house, singular or plural? It's singular, only one. All or every, the answer is every. Every house in that village looks the same. Next, all or every. Blank houses in that village look the same. Houses. Houses. All or every. What is the answer? All or every. Houses. It's plural. The answer is all. Great job! Next. All or every. Are blank roses red? Roses. Singular or plural? Roses, it's singular. It's sorry, it's plural. As you can see, there is an S, so it's plural. Are we going to use all or every? The answer is all. Are all roses red? How about this one? Blank day is a new day. 
blank day is a new day. All or every. So day, is it singular or plural? It's singular. So for singular, we use every. Every day is a new day. So that's all for our today's lesson, everyone. I hope you learned something from me today. Please always wear your mask if you go out. Practice social distancing. Wash your hands often and don't go out if you can help it. See you again next time. Goodbye.